Metin 2 is a Korean MMORPG that was initially released in Korea in 2004 with a release in the West a bit later on. Despite how bad the graphics look, this game was very popular in Europe and still has a lot of active players, currently reaching a daily peak of 1000 on Steam, which is more than what Bless Online gets. This game is a hack and slash MMO grinder with a focus on PvP that's developed by Webzen and published by Gameforge. For some reason, Russians seem to fucking love this game. Let's see if we can figure out why. Well, this is a very low res intro screen, isn't it? So it wants me to choose my empire. I can be the Chunjo Kingdom, the Jinno Kingdom, or the Shinsu Kingdom. Based on the map and this little screen, I'm going to assume it's one of those tri-faction PvP games. I think I'll join the Shinsu Kingdom. There's a wolf man here. Apparently this is the Lincoln class. You can be a shaman. You can be a guy that's masturbated so much, his left arm has become demonic. You can be a ninja. Or you can be a warrior. I'm going to be the Lincoln class because it looks so out of place compared to everything else. I think Lincoln is also the only gender locked class in the game. Some fantastic character customization here. The choice of two recolors. Shinsoku. Level 1 Shaman. Let's jump into this fantastically intriguing game. I'm a fucking half wolf, half man humanoid. My chances of getting laid are very small. And we're running like we've shit ourselves right off the bat. I don't even think this game has resolution options. My Yongarang the Wise. Hello. Let's drag this map over here. UI customization, as you can see. On the map, there's a little flickering uh, light that I need to follow. What an immersive fucking world. The quest is to kill some dogs, apparently. I guess I just click on the fucker, don't I? There we go. Click, click. Can we A- Oh, we actually AoE cleave the bastards. Oh, I'm actually at half health. I should really start taking these wild dog level ones seriously. Oh, we, there's some yang on the floor. I like getting a little bit of yang. There we go. And that's level two. I can now upgrade my attributes a little bit. I'm assuming that because I'm using melee, I just upgrade strength. That seems to make sense. Oh, there are abilities in this game. It's not just click to win. I need to level up first though. Collect unknown stones and bring them to the guard. Right, so we're looking for unknown stones. The location of these stones are apparently unknown. Maybe where it says unknown stones, it means unknown kidney stones. Maybe I need to kill the wild boars to get access to these stones. I haven't gotten any stones. I think we might have found an unknown stone. It says level 5 metan of the moon. Me attacking that seems to have pissed the dogs off for some unknown reason. We're now getting fucking mangled by hordes of wolves. Eat the potion, dude. Oh my god, they're infinitely spawning and... We're dead. We got fucking dogged. Oh no, the wolves are chasing me. Leave me alone. You have collected enough stone samples. So apparently that quest was essentially another kill some dogs quest, but I didn't quite understand. There's a little rotating coin in the bottom left of my screen. What does it do? Oh god, it's taking me to the bloody cash shop. Do you mind, Mr. Wolf? I'm trying to run here. It's kind of annoying that whenever I hand in a quest or interact with an NPC, the map resets. Like, it always just goes there instead of where I'm dragging it. So now it wants me to run all the way across the map and go to Portal Guard. This is going to be a fun quest. Oh, fuck, dude. We're going into dangerous territory. We're going into the land of the level six bears. Just... <laughs> What the fuck? There's there's like 50 bears just all around this one little area. Apparently in this game, bears breed like rabbits. What an immersive fucking game. Quest complete. That's level three. Maybe I'm strong enough to take on the level four bears now. Realistically, I think these bears would absolutely tear me to shreds. I know I've got a wolf head on, but... That doesn't make me strong enough to take on bears, really, does it? This game actually has emotes. You can do this when you wear an emoticon mask. You can only emote in this game if you're wearing a fucking emote mask. What a game. Oh no, I'm getting attacked by the level fives and six brown bears now. I think it's time that I kite my targets a little bit and play like a pro. Wow, we actually killed them all. I'm getting good at this game. Right, let's smash this fucking thing now, shall we? 
Right, we killed we killed the rock. Now that I've equipped some new weapons, I'm one-hitting the bears. There we go, that's level four. Is there no auto loot? Like, do you actually have to click on every coin on the floor? That's fun, isn't it? How does anyone play this game for longer than five minutes? I think one of the most tedious things about this game so far is traveling between quests because you move really slowly. And now we need to run all the way over here again. It's like a three minute fucking journey. I think I'd have more fun milking a cow right now. Oh, we've been teleported somewhere. We've unlocked a new zone. Well, this is exciting. We're now at... The kingdom of humans and there's some actual buildings around now. And now there's three flashing dots on the minimap for me to run to. This is brilliant. Looks like we've found Roleplay Square where all of the players hang out. Let's go socialize with General Store Saleswoman. She doesn't even have a name, bless her. 500 yang for a wooden necklace? Nah, piss off, love. You're a scam artist. The music really doesn't suit this game in any way. It's just constant random guitar solos. Man, I've got a lot of talk to me quests and it's fucking painful because there's a lot of running around. Around the village, there's thousands of monsters constantly spawning in. These guys are just standing there wiggling their pikes around. I haven't seen any other players yet. According to Steam, there's like 400 players online right now. Oh, there's a horse here. It'd be nice if we could get one of those. Can I buy a horse? You have to be level 25 to ride a mount. It doesn't look like we're gonna get a mount today. So here we've got level 6 hungry blue wolves, level 7 wild boar. Fair enough, that makes sense. But literally... A few meters away, we've got level 15 grizzly bears. Okay. Apparently, we can take on level 15 grizzly bears at level 5. This is some of the most bizarre game design I've ever seen. And here we've got level 1s. Level 9 is randomly there. Level 7, level 4, level 6. <laughs> Whoever's made this game's literally just sprinkled mobs all over the world with absolutely no method to it. Hopefully nothing too scary spawns when I kill this. Oh god, now I'm getting attacked by level 16s and I'm almost dead. We're gonna run. Oh no, we're out of stam. This game has the most headache-inducing soundtrack I think I've ever heard. We actually get to unlock an ability now? I've only been playing this game for about 40 minutes and I'm losing the will to live. Oh, okay. We've got some ability animations now. Bloody hell, we're attacking fast. The game gets a bit more fun when you've got some abilities to press. I guess that helps. This might be the first game that I cover that actually has no fucking pros. It's just shit. We found another player, Sima Bukat. Based on the name, I'm gonna assume this person is Russian. Sika Bliat. I think I spelled Bliat wrong. I don't know. Can't walk through this clear and obvious gap. I think this game's actually worse than Phoenix Dynasty Online 2. Lazy Peon, please play Metin 2. It's a very good game. I played it when I was a kid and it's very good. No, it's fucking shit. One of these days, the MMO genre will be saved. But today is not one of those days. Oh, we've done the quest. Now I need to walk back to the town for another three minutes. That sounds like fun. I think I'd rather snort compost than play this game for a prolonged period of time. How people still play this game in 2018, I don't fucking know. I don't think I'll ever understand. The same way I'll never know what giving birth feels like. Aren't I a lucky boy? All of that yang. Oh, actually, dying is a good strat in this game because you can restart in the city, which saves you running all the way back to the city. I want to get married. Aren't you too young to get married? You need to be level 25 to get married, apparently. Didn't realize you could get married in this game. Let yourself be led by the turning coin and get me another specimen. Does he mean this? It's a quest to introduce me to the cash shop. Luckily, I have five dragon marks, so I can buy it with a dragon mark. We've made our first Metin 2 in-game purchase. I bought the thing that this guy wanted me to buy off the cash shop, and he says I haven't done it, and I need to do it again. I've been scammed out of one fucking dragon coin. Dragon mark. That game can fuck off. So after playing Metin 2 for as long as I could bear, let's now discuss the pros and the cons, starting with the pros.
Overall, I can't comprehend why this game was popular. I just don't get it. The graphics are bad, the gameplay is bad, the world is the most barren, least immersive world I've ever seen, the user interface looks like shit, the music is probably the most headache-inducing I've ever heard from an MMO, questing is boring, and 99% of the game is just grinding mobs. I can't even think of a scenario where this game would look even remotely appealing to me at any point in my gaming life. If someone told me I had to play Metin 2 for six hours or pay a $100 fine, I'd probably take the fine. I know this video will probably get a bunch of hate because nostalgia, but I'd really like you guys to tell me what made this game so good. Usually when I cover old games, I try to put myself in the mindset of how good was this game for the time it was released or when it was relevant, but even if I do that with this game, I still just can't see the appeal. But that's it for this video guys, let me know your thoughts on Metin 2 in the comments below. I expect Ashes of Creation to drop their NDA soon, so when that happens, I'll most likely be streaming the game on Twitch, so do keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you again really soon.